Greetings, Flesh Wound Horror Freaks, and welcome to a brand new episode of Flesh Wound Horror. I'm Daniel Shine, joined by producer Todd Loya. What's up? Pugs Dread. Namaste. And Mike Kruger. What's up, you sick motherfuckers? Uh, so we're here tonight to talk about the brand new film, Gaia, from director Jocko uh, Bonwer, Bauer. Uh, and uh, so Gaia, uh, an injured forest ranger on a routine mission, is saved by two off-the-grid survivalists. What is initially a welcome rescue grows more suspicious as the son and his renegade father reveal a cultish devotion to the forest. When their cabin is attacked by, stra- by a strange being, it's clear there is far a far greater threat in this unrelenting wilderness. Uh, all right, so uh, Kruger, you had the pleasure of seeing this in theaters. Uh, yep. Uninterrupting. You locked, <laughs> uh, you locked out, man. Uh, so, hot take on Gaia. Um, yeah, man. So I really was glad I got to see the, see this in theaters. First of all, um, just the movie itself, like, is visually one of the most impressive things I think I've ever seen. Like as far as like cinematography and just visually it's so stunning uh the setting of the forest too like it complements all of that like really really well and i loved all the uses of color so i will say if you love art house horror this is definitely for you um also the score just added so much to the atmosphere too and it's really really well done the acting i thought was great all around but uh I would like to highlight Monique Rockman, who did, I thought did a fantastic job and uh, had a really compelling lead performance. And uh, also, Carl Nell stole the show for me, playing the father, especially just watching him as the time went on get more and more disheveled. Uh, and that whole speech he gives to Gabby right before yeah. the final act, like that reminiscent to like William Defoe's speech in Lighthouse. It was that fucking good. Um, the story I loved, we got put right in the action really quick within like the first 10 minutes. And then watching Gabby coexist with, you know, the father and the son, the wilderness was just, you know, it was really interesting to see, you know, their contra- their day-to-day lives like and how they contrasted between each other. Um, and there was also some great character development in this. We get especially towards the final act. And uh, I thought this really had a powerful message behind it. It was very clear what the social commentary was. And uh, it also, but that didn't let it stray away from its moments of horror. This is very much a horror film. And uh, I really liked the biblical parallels we got with this in the tale of Abraham and his son as well. Uh, I thought that was very well done. Uh, the body horror in this is absolutely amazing. There was moments that I just cringed and was just like, man, that is so fucked up. I would just kill myself if that happened to me. <laughs> and uh, like all the practical makeup effects behind those moments were just stunning, colorful, uh, why remaining like disturbing and super eerie. Uh, and seriously, like some of my favorite effects I've seen in years, like super unique and you just don't see stuff like that anymore. I have seen some major criticism uh, with one of the creatures we get in this movie. A lot of people are saying it looks uh, very much like the creatures in the video game, the last of us that are called clickers. Uh, The effects look really similar. uh, Like the, design and stuff it does look very similar but for people to sit there and say that uh, this movie just ripped that video game off i think is pretty fucking silly and uh I, i've been seeing that a lot with negative reviews of this uh and honestly to me this was more inspired by the uh, tokusatsu classic mantango directed by ishiro honda it's mm-hmm. a 1960s uh sci-fi body horror film about mushroom people Good movie. I like that yeah, one. Fucking fantastic. If you want a good double, man, double it up with Guy. Very similar themes. And uh, I, I even thought like strong social commentary in both of those films as well. Um, so overall, I just thought this film knocked it out of the park for me. Uh, it's actually knocked Skull the Mask down for like my second favorite film I've seen all year. And it is my favorite movie I've seen in theaters all year. And that's probably the highest praise I could give it considering it competed against the fucking Godzilla movie. So that being said, I think everybody, I don't think everybody is going to love this movie. I see this being split similar to movies like Midsummer and uh, other stuff like that. But 
I think everybody should see it to form their own opinion. And I can only hope that you guys had as much fun as I did watching this because uh, I'm on my second viewing already, and <laughs> I, I want my third. Nice. We should uh, mention it's only three ninety nine dollars now if you want to rent it. On oh, Radio yeah. And, and uh, other places. So. Very oh, before, before we move on, I also want to say second film from South Africa this year that has kind of blew my fucking mind. Um, I, I don't know what's in the water down there, but keep making fucking horror films. That's great. Mm -hmm. I like, uh, I mean, for, I love fried berry and this, this blew my fucking mind. So I want to see more from directors down there. It looks like they have a good eye for horror. We know it's in the air there at least. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this definitely can be filed under uh, uh, Nature Run Amok, uh, where uh, Earth itself is uh, <laughs> the the heel. Uh, I really it reminded me a lot of Long Weekend, which is an Australian film I've referenced a lot. That one specifically, uh, just you know, an asshole couple and nature just revolts against the way revolts against them for treating the earth like shit uh it's and, all, and uh, avoid avoid its remake nature's grave <laughs> i i was about to say it was remake remade as nature's grave uh you could also throw in annihilation <laughs> as a recent movie a little different but you know kind of had some similar uh similar themes uh the happening i have to throw out there is the most shitty uh Similar film. I would even bring uh, that up. <laughs> so no one ever. So, so no one ever watches it. That movie had everything wrong. Uh, for, fortunately, Mark Wahlberg is a fucking English teacher or something. Like if he's not teaching PE, I'm not buying it. That, that's too far out there. Oh, it had worse Please going continue. for it. But yeah, uh, fortunately, Gaia is no happening. I I loved it. I thought it was an absolutely fantastic body horror. Uh, film uh, the tone from the very beginning uh, I, I just I loved the concept again there are some films that it is similar to it's not a hundred percent original necessarily but man was I engaged uh, as, as Kruger said Monique Rockman now on my radar uh, I thought she did an excellent job uh, it, the the thing about the transformations in this it, it was Gross. I mean, something about like mushrooms and Dude, I hate and fucking shit. mushrooms. Fuck yeah, mushrooms. it's gross. Well, I like I like them as food, but not <laughs> growing no. out of my skin. No. Not I, really. I, nothing. No, no I, it was it's a new them. thing for me. It's like. I, I can't fuck with the mushrooms anymore. No, dude, them shits grow hair and fuzz. <laughs> fuck that. Oh, yeah. But you know, you, yeah, you mentioned <laughs> yeah. you mentioned the Lee uh, Monique Rockman. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask Dan Pugs. I don't want to ruin it by saying this. Did she remind you of Laura Gemser a bit in this? I didn't actually see that, to be honest. Oh. Um, Maybe it was the jungle setting. <laughs> yeah, I, well, uh, it's hard to stack up to Laura Gemser, but she she probably would. Um, now she just needs she needs to do an Emmanuel in America remake. If she does the remake, holy shit. <laughs> well, that's boom. Like, you're Nostradamus of smut, dude. Um, but yeah, this, oh man, just from the beginning, the opening shot, uh, just the primordial forest, and this had so much uh, going for it. Uh, like I said, it, the, I wouldn't call it a gore film per se, but again, the effects are just so damn cool. The way the the light in your eyes kind of goes away, and uh, it's gooey and gross. Um, I I really have nothing but fantastic things to say about this movie. And I and I thought the father I, was really excellent because I mean he he was intimidating when he needed to be. You, you did it uh, just. And that speech, as you said, was just like, yeah. oh, wow. Uh, excellent, excellent acting all around. Small cast. Uh, I was a little, uh, well, I, I won't get into that. I don't want to spoil anything. But, um, and, and there is some uh, pretty uh, weird uh, sexual moments in this. Not necessarily pleasant. I was but, wondering uh, when you were going to bring that up. <laughs> Well, you know, you hippies, I'm sure it's happened before. Uh, what, did you, what did you think, Bugs? Um, 
first off, it's a beautiful fucking movie. Uh, yeah. There's some like like with all the greenery and like the stuff growing out of things, it's awesome. But there was like a couple shots where it was dark at night, and there was like a red light in the back or light yeah. backlighting yeah. something. I was like, this is fucking cool. Uh, you guys give praise to the two leads, but I gotta shout out the boy. He didn't yeah. have many lines, and he was I oh man, he was my favorite. I'm like, I just was, want you to be okay. <laughs> is that is that because he was Captain Davies in Roots? Now, yes, but I had no. I, that's not the, okay. The, the 2016 version. Gotcha. He was also he was also you know, in like everyone everyone else's favorite uh, Raised by Wolves. Oh yeah, uh, who was he well, in that? I'm trying. He to play was. It. I actually had to pull it up. I knew I'd recognize him. He can't him, be so. one of the, the kids. I, I knew I fucking he, recognized he's him. He's Android Surgeon and Carl. I think he did the voice of Android Surgeon and then he was Carl. Oh, he's shit, just on good. one episode, it looks like. But Oh, so yeah, he's just probably like a disposable character. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, um, but that Android Surgeon episode was pretty cool if you remember it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great show for most of us. Um, <laughs> but I, and like the special, <laughs> the special effects. Outstanding. I I'm someone played The Last of Us for sure, and someone loved watching Hannibal. Be, and there's a certain episode in particular. Yeah, that, I know what, exactly. What oh you're talking about. yes, that, that yeah. tackles it not this. Be, it must not be one I'm up to. Is it a season three episode? No, I thought it one. was early. Season, dude. Season, yeah. one. season one. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this is this movie was outstanding. Um. I wish. I I, I think if you guys watch the show, you know. I had an incident where I watched half of it, and then the projector projection projection the projector died, and they I, they I was I got forty three minutes because I looked at the time while I was fucking uh, watching it, and I was like, "Fuck!" Um, I wish I would have saw it all in theater, but I'm glad I saw it, and it's definitely worth checking out, seeking out. If you can see it on the big screen, I do think it's it's worth going out for. Yeah. Um, but you know, convenience at home, definitely watch it somehow. <laughs> Well, you only you only got another. I think it's uh, disappears Sunday. So, uh, not in the Pasadena Lamley Theater because they fucked up. They're giving us an extra week. So, oh really? Okay, that's going to be cool. a theater to the big screen. They gave us a whole pitch. They actually handled it really well. Where I wasn't mad. My Karen hat did not come on. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, the uh, Gaia, fantastic. I reserve my Karen hat for Severin sales, so it's right. okay. Have you all have you all booked your uh, tickets to Monkey Land yet? <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's where this was filmed in South Africa. God damn! There, a lot of monkeys a, there. A, a, the, this there is uh, one of the trivia bits was while filming inside Monkey Land, the crew found themselves with a stick protecting the camera cart, trying to fight off half a dozen vervet monkeys who took turns charging at the lens box. Damn, that's, <laughs> that's dangerous. Even I want behind the scenes for this. Uh, yeah, yeah, where's that yeah. making of, <laughs> Doc? Okay. Even those little capuchin things, I mean, they will mess you up. They will bite off a finger. <laughs> He's like, look. <laughs> yeah, I don't. We didn't get any in that, which is interesting. I knew that was gonna get a laugh though. Oh, also, in spoilers, <laughs> yeah. I, well, I can say that here. Um, no, I'll save it for spoilers. There's a yeah, good joke coming. Uh, well, <laughs> here we go. Did I like it? It was starting to get overhyped, and I warned you two at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But I still loved it, despite. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know as much as you. Because I mean, you guys like are dropping to your knees for this one. I really liked it. It's impressive. <laughs> um, um, it, it is one of my favorites so far this year. I don't know where I'd put it right now. It might still be three, but yeah, it's two for me. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't. You know. I don't really have anything bad about this one at all. Really. Um. I liked all the characters. You know. Maybe. <sighs> The uh, uh, what was the old man's name? Uh, um, the father, the B, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, Baron. 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 Okay, Baron's Baron, yeah. name because he, he was my favorite. Okay, um, he was a little too William Defoe for me. I think it, it was a little too similar, and and I may not have even may not have even registered if, if you guys didn't give me the lighthouse comparison going in, but it is a similar descent to madness, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean that's a minor thing that I noticed. I wouldn't even call it a complaint. 
um, because the performance was so awesome. And that's the small a good cast. skill to have. You get yeah. to turn on your own William to Defo- William to <laughs> Um, Give me my gold statue. <laughs> um, oh, the one line that had me done. Oh wait, I guess it's a spoiler thing too. Yeah, All right, Todd, I think we might pitch. be on the same page because <laughs> <laughs> women ruin everything. I'll just say that I said it. <laughs> yeah, I think we are. <laughs> All right, uh, Kruger, you want to go on rate this one first? Yeah, I'm five out of five. Nice. I was going back and forth between a four and a half and a five, but yeah, I think I like it a little too much to not give it a five. Five. I am very close to a five, but not quite. It's four and a half, but it is one of my favorite movies so far this year. I really enjoyed it quite a lot. I think um, it might grow, Dan. It could. Like yeah. yeah, like the mushrooms. <laughs> Just water it daily. I'm with Dan. I'm a four and a half with room to grow. I really did like this. Um, I maybe if I would have saw it on the big screen, I would have like been shit. That's a five. I don't yeah, know, dude. It blew my fucking mind. like. I saw it late as fuck. Like I got out at like one in the morning. I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like <laughs> I, I it, it really really blew my fucking mind. So yeah, how in definitely if you can. Oh, definitely. I was so stoned. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, dude. Me and my girl, That's like, we smoked. We smoked in the parking lot for like probably like a half hour before we oh, came geez. in there. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling in with your own fucking fog machine. <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, you should have taken shrooms. Yeah, what dude, amazing. seriously. That's gonna that's gonna be a bucket like dude, probably my next birthday. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna watch like Mandy, Gaia, fucking <laughs> maybe Are midsummer. Well, you're leaving one out. I figure it would have been one of the first ones you said. Which one? Well, it's another Nicolas Cage film. He said Mandy. The Willis? other one. Oh, Color Out of Space. There you I've go. Already, I've, already, I've already done that. Okay. <laughs> That's why I wasn't on the list. Then. Never yeah. mind. My bad. <laughs> Keep up, Todd. Um, I know. <laughs> um, all right. Well, do we want to just go straight to spoilers? Or anyone else got any non spoiler stuff to say? No. Uh, no. No, right. go spoilers. Why Let's not? go to spoilers. And I want to hear Pug's line first. Well, I, <laughs> what? You I, I said I just ruined the punchline, so I'll I'll probably to, I'll try to work it in, but if not, All women right. ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So spoiler talk time. Uh you a woman goes inside and everything gets fucked up. Shocker, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, no, I when when basically in the boat when he tells her like he's basically she's channeling her her white girl. <laughs> oh, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I can't remember the exact verbiage of that. How's that? I also like laughing. that he had her hand him a sandwich. It's not like women's work exactly, but you know it's hinted at. <laughs> <laughs> it's South Africa, fuck it, <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, All right, Kruger, what do you got for us? Fucking just, I got to say, like, how cool the creatures were. Like, I love the, you know, it does look like the clicker from The Last of Us, but it's a little bit different on the head, like, it, the way the mushroom came out. And, like, the first shot you see of it, where it's just, like, on, like, a green background, you're just like, oh, what the fuck was that? Because you see it move just slightly uh, when she's, like, just staring into the forest. That was awesome. Um, I thought the story of why like Stefan and his dad lived in the woods was actually like really fucking sad. Um, yeah. And like when Stefan shows Gabby, his mom completely just, you know, attached to that tree and she's, you know, you still see her breathing. And then you see that fucking tree, bro. That shit was like the tree branch with the fucking uh, wedding right. ring on it. Oh my yeah. God. Like, I was just like, Oh, that is the saddest fucking shit I've seen in a long time. Um, and then uh, what happened that Winston, uh, Gabby's boat uh, rower, boss? dude, mm-hmm. yeah, her boss, uh, just like all the six different types of fungus just growing all around them. And uh, the, and then, you know, the, he the way he kills himself, like so slow. The, yeah. <laughs> and just, that's not the best way to go about it. But yeah, it's the, they, they didn't have anything else. What well, else that's are you gonna do? true. It's the aliens kill me moment. Well, oh, yeah, that's that's what it reminded me of, of like Alien Resurrection. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, Alien then, Resurrection. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and then I also really just dug how like the dad kind of had this deal worked out with the fungus, like how he's mm-hmm. not going to get killed and shit. And you know, uh, also just the way Stefan gives 
Gabby the medicine you know, that his father gives him and that kiss, like that was a great moment. I was like, holy shit, this is really well written when I saw that. Uh, and then just the whole father having to sacrifice his son to God, that parallel with Abraham, that was fucking great. Um, all the fever dreams Gabby had, I thought were great, like, and how they escalated from just like, just tiny little things to eventually just getting more and more fucked up as time goes on. And like that one that she had with the fungus was growing out of her ear that like was making me cringe. Uh, and also when she takes the hallucinogens and the whole sequence is just so fucking weird. The father's fucking the ground. No, uh, I was she, <laughs> like, Dude, he wants that tree. He I was thinking the same plant. thing. Yeah. I think we all want the plant, but I know this dude fucking first in line. <laughs> yeah, that that just blew, like I was just like, wow, this is so fucking weird. And then there's the visual right before Gabby wakes up with her eyes bleeding. That's how you get the cover art or the yeah. poster art. Like that was awesome. And uh, also like just a little. Uh, spots of fungus that Gabby would wake up and she would like have to brush them off. And when she brushed them off, like you'd see all this blood coming off of her and shit. Like, I was just like, Oh my God, that looks like it was so fucking painful. And uh, then of course, just the end when Gabby finally becomes completely affected and she's growing to the floor, just such a powerful eerie shot and just sad. And like right before that, actually, when she's, telling Stefan like to kill him and stuff and he just he won't because he loves her too much like I was just like wow that's crazy and also I thought it, her. <laughs> yeah he, well, he, well I mean at that point I think she I, I don't know maybe she was still there uh, it depends if you believe if the mom was still there or not you yeah, know I, I, mean? I want to know if he treated her like the dad did in those fever dreams or the hallucinations <laughs> <laughs> right um, and then just the ending with Stefan like he fucking finally you see him and you're rooting for him right and you're like fuck yeah he's finally moving on he's going to the real world you don't need to deal with this fungus bullshit he's taking a bite out of the sandwich you're like oh wait oh fuck and then you see the sandwich start to grow the fungus on it you're like this motherfucker's got the coronavirus <laughs> <laughs> he's the monkey yeah like god damn that like i just i thought that was an awesome ending and like i know we would never get a sequel to this i really yeah. hope we don't but i, I would watch it <laughs> uh, you a friend, could a friend, I, of, friend of the show edward danzig's like if the the end credit after the credits just says the last of us next i'll see you next in the last of us i'm like i'm gonna lose my shit he didn't lose his shit but <laughs> i i would like yeah from what i've heard about the yeah. game oh, I, 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 I would be fine with it I Pretty think cool. it would almost be too ambitious to get it made, unfortunately, the way that ended. Yeah. Um, no, the, there's going to be, like, yeah. honestly, like, I talk shit about the Last of Us thing. I mean, it is mm. very similar. Yeah, but, um, yeah, no. yeah that, that's going to be coming out soon. So I think that's going to at least threat, uh, give me some body horror, uh, bloodthirsty. Uh, yeah. So. But yes, South Africa has been killing it. So, wow. Yeah, we have two so far. <laughs> More uh, any country that throws their hat into the horror genre. I mean, not that it was, you know, the first film, but, you know, Turkey, Indonesia, yeah. India. There, there's so many great films coming out from uh, overseas right now. So I think it's fantastic. But they're um, not all shot in monkey land. <laughs> they're not. They're not. They're not. Oh, I did love it. it. It looked gorgeous. I'm happy to see more. You, you can you can book your stay there. There's a uh, free room, primary Dude, primate sanctuary. That, that's got to be a Patreon exclusive. Dan and crew will go to Monkey Land. <laughs> yes, your cat will finally I, have a safari. And, and, you, and you can reenact the the ground scene. I'd be curious to actually see it. Like I I, I'm going to Google pictures later because I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like. As just a, Google a Monkey track. Land. Monkey Land, South Africa. Because if you just Google <laughs> Monkey Land, well, here I could show you some pictures. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, we'll we'll do it here. Yeah, screw it. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, uh, you can probably take the spoilers down now, though. For... Not necessarily. Yeah, no, because we're showing Monkey Land. Yeah, I, I'll just leave it up. Okay. All right, the greenery in the movie is fucking gorgeous. Though. That, yeah, like, yeah that's dude. That cool for... I guess it's not a spoiler. We're just showing where it was shot. Well, you were yeah. talking about the yeah. opening shot, Dan. Like that was crazy. Oh yeah. Like, with with the drone and everything and just the way they you know you're like are we upside down like the, just i love when you're able to do something with a shot and you're like are we upside down oh fuck no we're not wait what what you know it's What's going confusing on? Yeah. you and like <laughs> what the fuck is going on type shit there we go 
Wow. Okay. There's lots of monkeys. I'm sure that had to be a very complicated shoot. Okay, fuck that. That's all to say. <laughs> oh, dude. Hell no. Fuck that shit. I'm good. That's oh, probably that? safer than you think. Yeah, can you imagine trying to fucking shoot a movie and then these monkeys are just like throwing shit at you? <laughs> uh, oh. We can't dance Christmas present. We can buy a $5 square. <laughs> you can own, own Monkeyland, Dan, and that seems apropos. Mm-hmm. There we go. I'll buy up the tree. Uh, I'm about to get that? really bad with this. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note, let's let's get the hell out of here. All right, guys. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and smash that notification bell and comment here on YouTube. It really helps increase the uh, visibility and uh, it helps us out quite a bit. Uh, also, patreon.com slash flesh wound features for exclusive uh, uncensored content. We've got some videos coming up. We got some new ones up now. Uh, so check that out. Also, uh, fleshwoundfeatures.com. Check out the Teespring store for our official merch and uh, officially licensed Christmas cruelty merchandise. Uh, check that. That shirt's amazing. Uh, what, there's shirts, there's stickers, there's bags. Mm -hmm. There's phone a cases. pillow, phone, phone case. cases. Yeah. I have yeah. a sticker for coming. Yeah. Awesome. You have to uh, show when it gets here. You'll probably get it before any of us. But. And also, make sure you check out the uh, Easter Cruelty trailer. It's, yes. it's going to be awesome. Yes. yes, check that out. Uh, so and, and, and go watch the interview to watch Pugs and Cougars react. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. You know what? Maybe I should just release that as a reaction video <laughs> by itself. Let's put that on our Instagram. So like, comment, share that. There bullshit. you go. There <laughs> you right. go. Well, on that. Uh, with that. With that being said, go watch Gaia. Check out all the shit we just said. And Check let's get out. the fuck out of here. Dan? Good night, guys. I'll shine. Stay sick, motherfuckers. And I'll see you in Disneyland.